What is going on, Eye Warriors? So once again, there is a study that people don't want to talk about because it puts intermittent fasting in a good light. And of course, whenever they're trying to, you know, on their plight of stopping intermittent fasting from being popular or b being something that people use for some odd reason, maybe because they grew up without intermittent fasting. So to a lot of fitness gurus, it's insulting that something new that they didn't know about when they were growing up is something that works very well. Who knows? But here's a study that dropped in 2000, I'm sorry, uh, uh, December of 2022. Um, I haven't seen anybody talk about it, but it compared time restricted, early time restricted feeding versus those who ate more versus those who had an eating window of more than 12 hours with calories being roughly the same and intermittent fasting saw uh, more reduction in body fat, more reduction in, uh, in weight loss and visceral fat, etc. better uh, uh, in, in terms of metabolic numbers, better insulin numbers, better blood glucose levels, all of these things. So let's go ahead and, and take a quick look at it. We'll switch right here. We can see uh, the study here. This was published in the Journal of Obesity um, by Felicia L. Steger and colleagues, or Eats All. And then it, it was published December 14th, 2022. Now, the objective of this study was, uh, um, since data is mixed on whether intermittent fasting improved weight loss and cardiometabolic health, here are the effects of time-restricted eating. Um in participants who consistently adhere uh, for over five for five days or more every week, or for more than five days every week, were analyzed. Now there were ninety patients, um, age twenty five to seventy five. Keep in mind the majority of these uh, participants were female. So for those of you who feel, oh well, if they're you know female, maybe it doesn't work because female and their and the hormonal changes and all that stuff, it still works for females. All of this is based off of one or two studies that looked at postmenopausal or or uh premenopausal and it was not a study that I actually have a video up on that and it and there was so many misleading elements that came from that study that don't actually uh pertain to the female population in general. All right. So, anyways, so basically for anybody who feels, "Oh, this is intermittent fasting for women." and for men yes it's both for women and for men uh results participants who adhere to early time restrictive feeding of five days or more every week had greater improvements in body weight with a p-value of 0 0.003 body fat uh reduction heart rate beats insulin resistance uh and glucose relative to adheres in the control group and the control group were uh, the more than 12 hour eating window group while the early time restricted feeding ate uh, within eight hours, right? So this was for a 14 week period. So this is about what? Four, four months, right? Roughly, roughly about four months. In conclusion, for those who can consistently adhere to at least five days a week, ETRE, uh, is early time restricted feeding is a valuable approach for improving body weight, body fat, cardiometabolic health, and mood. Research further research is needed to determine whether ETREs effects of shortening sleep but reducing fatigue are helpful or not. Now that's another thing that I, I've mentioned. There are so many people that do intermittent fasting videos that tell you like everything about intermittent fasting is perfect. But one thing that I've always told you guys is that sleep is always affected with intermittent fasting in a negative way. Granted, you could try, you could get used to it, you could try to do as much as you can so that you get as much sleep as possible, but there is like, uh, because of the fasting, what happens during fasting and the whole fight or flight and the norepinephrine and epinephrine, uh, those, those hormones, you actually get this like burst of energy sometimes and when you're sleeping, it wakes you up, so it, sleeping becomes a little bit more difficult with intermittent fasting. Contrary to people telling you intermittent fasting is the, does everything great, 
sleeping has always been an issue that intermittent fasting has attached to it. Now, some people can sleep through it. Some people, it doesn't do anything to them. But for others, uh, for a good amount of people, they do end up having less sleep. And it's literally because of the pent up energy that comes from the, the norepinephrine, epinephrine, fight or flight uh, hormone release. Now, if we look at, so one thing that I know that is going to happen is if any guru catches wind of this study, if they haven't already, but just didn't want to talk about it, you know what I mean? If any guru catches wind of this study, maybe after my video, what they'll do is they'll look to see, well, what were the macronutrient breakdown? What was the caloric intake? And what was the uh, source that, or how did they provide the the information to the the researchers? Now, what they did was they used the, uh, they did an electronic um reporting system where they would actually take pictures of the food they're about to eat then take pictures of the plate after they ate it anything they ate for example if they were to eat a snicker they would take a picture of a snicker then eat it show the the snicker eaten so everything they were eating they were sending that information to the to the uh researchers also they were sending the information of physical activity which is super important protein intake and physical activity is super important because when that is not reported we can get numbers that, that show muscle loss is greater in the calorie restriction group or muscle loss is greater in the intermittent fasting group. And we don't know that the intermittent fasting group didn't do uh, exercise or we don't know that the calorie restriction group didn't do exercise. Now, keep in mind, when I say calorie restriction group versus intermittent fasting group, I'm not saying that intermittent fasting is at a caloric surplus or not doing calorie restriction. What I'm saying is one group is only doing calorie restriction. The other group is doing calorie restriction with an intermittent fasting system, um, which is different. And then you see differences like fat loss in the intermittent fasting group. Now, we go ahead and make it real easy for you and look at these charts here. Uh, you'll see the participants here, females, you'll see, you know, 26 uh, females um, uh, here and then 10 fe uh, males for the uh, for all the participants. And then 2015 females doing uh, uh, calorie restriction, 11 doing early time restricted feeding in terms of males, four for early time restricted feeding and six. So this is a major. Um, majority of this is females so i don't want to hear things like oh you know this is for men this is for men 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 and then women come and do these tiktok videos saying women you can't do it because of the pre-menopause or during the menopause or post-menopause don't listen to any of that stuff listen to the actual data listen to the actual data there's going to be a lot of fear mongering when it comes to intermittent fasting because it has the tagline fasting and they want to make it uh, uh, they want to make it, they want to attach it to eating disorders when in reality you have to apply intervention, caloric restriction, overeating, whatever it is, all of those things could be put under the umbrella of eating disorder because you have to pay attention to what you're doing to lose weight. Or if not, you will be gaining weight or you will not ever lose weight. That's just how it works. So don't fall for that type of propaganda. If you look at the weight loss chart here, this blue down here, this is early time restricted feet, um, uh, eating. This this uh, light blue up here is ca uh, caloric restriction. You'll see that the weight loss was much greater in the time restricted uh, feeding group. Same thing with fat mass, much greater. Same thing with free uh, fat free mass, uh, much greater. Uh, trunk fat, much greater. Visceral fat, much greater. Uh, waist circumference, much greater. Reduction. Um, and then lean mass, much greater, uh, slightly greater, slightly greater in fat free mass and slightly greater in lean mass, uh, for the early time restricted, uh, feeding group, uh, glucose, all of these different metabolic trait, uh, metabolic, um, par par parameters, parameters, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they, they're the same. One thing that I want to show here, this is actually showing the energy intake. Look how similar the energy intake is minus 630 to minus 625 with a difference between group of minus five now granted yes it is less in the early time restricted feeding group but it's only less by minus five calories not something that not enough calories for you to see that major difference so there's something to be said there now is this the best perfect reporting system no but there is no best 
perfect reporting system unless they're in a metabolic ward study where they're in a metabolic chamber actually being fed for like two months by the researchers. You're not going to get the best. You know, everything is going to be do this meal plan and report to us. They're all going to be like that, at least with this they use a digital device where they're actually showing them the food they're about to eat and the food uh, the food being eaten. Uh, so, yes. And then if you look at the protein intake, similar protein intake, very, very similar. Fat intake, very, very similar. Uh, carbohydrate intake, very, very similar. So all of these different... Um, uh, and to, all of these different things are the same when it comes to both... Uh, the the uh, caloric restriction group and the uh, intermittent fasting group so very 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 similar across the board uh, total mood fatigue inertia is much better uh, like there, there's everything that you see here even anger hostility is reduced um, these are emo these are mood questionnaires but it's still showing that there's like this positive effect with intermittent fasting so i'm not going to go and help uh, ahead and break all of this down i will put the link of the study down in the description box if you guys want to take a look at the entire study yourself um there isn't much of a conflict of interest here yes the participants there was a sponsorship through or not a sponsorship but funding was done through that company that uses the the uh the the digital recording of the food intake to to report but that doesn't benefit both either intermittent fasting or calorie restriction it is it, it, it doesn't matter for for that company to you know be successful or whatever it is it doesn't matter which one of the two it just matters that they use the device it doesn't matter which one of the two was uh <coughs> worked or didn't work essentially uh but yeah you're not gonna see a lot of gurus talk about this study because it's just not convenient to talk about studies like this why because of the fact that this shows intermittent fasting in a positive light when calories are very similar when macronutrients are very similar when physical activity is tracked when protein is the same it just doesn't show the differences that they want to see or it doesn't show this the this the the non-beneficial use of intermittent fasting that they're trying to see from these studies so you never get to hear them because they want to cherry pick studies we don't cherry pick studies here at flesh fitness we talk about the good studies the bad studies we look at everything we see what what's wrong with it you know what for example there's limitations in here the fact that they have to self-report and i mentioned that we're not going to cherry pick here on Fledge Fitness. We're actually going to try to get relevant studies that make sense and then definitely look at meta-analysis and systematic reviews because that's even more important. And we've done that here as well. And they've shown similar uh, data results as this one. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. As always, Fledge Fitness coming in with another video because I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. And then when the thing, the window come down, hit all notifications so you can get all my videos whenever I post them. See you guys. Love you guys. Peace out.